Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, always. I usually don't take it for granted. By supporting me in this video, ensure you like the video. I have realized that sometimes you bump into the video, you watch, and you forget liking the video. So I'm just reminding you, please do me a favor, ensure you like the video. Thank you so much for that like. Now, Kenyans, the Citizen TV News Club is shocking Kenyans by their revelations. As they were trying to analyze the qualifications of these individuals appointed just a few days ago to the cabinet, Citizen TV News Club, they are making Kenyans to laugh. Uh, to, uh, of course, they laugh about the issue of the qualification of these individuals. When they reached at asking the qualification of Hassan Joho, the former governor of Mombasa, they stuck, they stuck there. They don't know the qualification of Hassan Joho. So this pushed them just to call Hassan Joho, the former governor of Mombasa County. Number two, they went ahead to say that John Badi, John Badi's qualification is become CPA. When look at Oparanya, that made even them laugh about the qualification of these individuals. Oparanya is accountant. I want you to take a look the video of Citizen TV News. Um, Ali Hassan Joho, <laughs> I don't know. know the list. <laughs> I am not on, in the list. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you nice? <laughs> no, I'm asking a substantive question. <laughs> okay. Um, Ali Hassan <laughs> Joho. You studied the same thing. Look, <laughs> <you call it. laughs> Okay, former governor, um, Mombasa County. Stella Soilangat, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. John Bali Bicom, uh, CPA. Um, Wicklow for Paranya. Accountant. Opio Wandai, Bachelor of Science, Agriculture. <laughs> and of course, lately, law. Yeah, so, I mean, when you look at, um, there, there, there appears to be several lawyers in cabinet. <laughs> And then, of course, um, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Secretary Busala Mudavadi is a land economist. So, uh, so this is, these are civics that will have to be perused by the committee that will be vetting these nominees. But more importantly, if you have to look at, um, for instance, the... Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is shocking that William Ruto is not getting it right. When you look at the appointment, that William Ruto is doing, it just simplifies the William Ruto's plan to the next general election. Some of us will say, why is it that William Ruto is planning for 2027 today, yet he doesn't know if he is going to reach 2027? That is the only thing that us as Kenyans we usually know. But for the pol politicians, they usually don't know about that. When you elect them, they start campaigning immediately because they start securing and making themselves to be re-elected again. So when you look at William Ruto's appointment in, in, in these cabinet issues, remember one thing. William Ruto is trying to play a game with those who are not qualified to hold this cabinet. Remember, the executive, this cabinet, eh, is so much important to the president of the day that leads the executive. And remember, these cabinet ministers, they are normally, most of the time, advisors to, advisors to the president. You know, So having individuals who are incompetent to the office is going not only to drain um, or derail us from what we need as a country, but again, remember, those who are in the office, they are going to misuse what they are mandated to do. And so, I was just laughing how the Citizen TV News guy, they are laughing after um, these individuals who were just the other day um, appointed to be the cabinet ministers in various positions. But remember one thing, we have a big problem with the qualification in terms of the political class in this Republic of Kenya. You will be shocked that bigger percentage of them are claiming having uh, degrees, diplomas, 
or even certificates. But these uh, qualifications are, of course, bought in River Road. They don't have the, the clear credentials that they went to school. Some of them even never finished primary school. Some even never finished from the high school level. Some of them even never uh, achieved to access the tertiary education, that is university, colleges, you know. But what William Ruto is doing to appoint those who are incompetent is just that showing president who lacks an uh, idea, who lacks that wisdom to come and say that, yes, I have the presidency, but to secure it, I must have individuals who understand the issues that are being raised by the people. But remember, these individuals who are being given these positions, you are serving their political interest. No one is going to understand that issue. You might argue, you might say what you can say, but the truth of the matter is William Ruto has failed. Has failed. Even if he is looking for the government of national unity, I know the man William Ruto is just gambling with the politics of 2027. 20, Another thing that traumatized Kenyans a lot is that we fought hard. And sometimes you find ourselves on the streets fighting either IBC must go, William Ruto must go, or this year's must go. At the end of the day, our struggles and fight, you find that few individuals in the government, they will just come out, say that who want the government of national unity, but they are discussing about positions. So I know Kenyans, we have been fooled for a long period of time, not even realizing that a divided political class is the weakness of their agenda. But a united political class, it is achievement to their political business. And so if you hear them proposing for government of national unity, remember one thing. These people want to serve their own interest. After serving their own interest, they are planning themselves again to come back 2027 and tell you whatever they can see. Oh, to mepanga, to metenga, to meweka. And those are all scenarios that we usually have day in, day out. Day in, day out. But now, will it be possible for us as Kenyans to have a president who will understand the right arithmetics in terms of the offices we are having publicly? Because what you will see is that they will just come out to say, you know, you have appointed your own son. You have appointed the, your own person the way William Ruth is doing it. Yesterday was in Mombasa. Aya, Kilifi Piata Sema Sumon and Lipe Amazon King and Speaker of Senate. Voria Kuale Piata Sema Sumon and Lipe Amutienu. The same to Tarakaniti, he said it about Kintikikiture. Now he will be going to Siaya. I've given you Opia Wandai. He will be going to Homabe. I've given you John Badi. That is what William Ruto is having in his mentality. And going forward, I think the political class must see the wrath of the people, you know, because the qualification is so wanting. The qualification is so wanting. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.